Commitment 2022, we get the facts on a political ad from one of the candidates in the District 10 congressional race in Orange County. Did he really craft the bill to improve school safety and pass more laws than any other Democrat? West News political reporter Greg Fox puts it to the test. But we need someone who delivers. This commercial has been airing on TV and has been posted on social media, touting the record of Democratic District 10 congressional candidate Randolph Bracey of Orlando. We're looking at two of the claims. As our state senator, Randolph Bracey has stood up for us, passing more laws than any Democrat. Let's get the facts on that first claim. It's false, and here's why. Bracey was first elected to the State House in 2012. During four years, one bill he sponsored during regular sessions became law, a relief bill for victims of a home invasion. But passed more laws than any Democrat? Well, just consider the record for Plantation State Senator Lauren Book. She entered the Senate the same year as Bracey, 2016. Among all of the bills they sponsored, four of Bracey's were passed into law. For Book, the number is 18, far more than Bracey's. Now back to the ad. Crafting the Parkland gun bill to keep our kids safe. We'll bring up the meter and call that claim misleading. The claim refers to the 2018 massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. This is Bracey in a committee hearing February 27th of that year, raising concerns about arming school employees. Uh, along with the fact that teachers have said that, that they do not want to be armed. Minutes later. Senator Bracey. You can't hear it, but Bracey voted no. On March 3rd, on the full Senate floor, Bracey argued for an amendment. One to require more classroom training for armed school employees in the Guardian program. It says that any person who participates in the Marshall program, they must successfully complete at least 12 hours of diversity training. The measure was adopted. But get this, on March 5th in the full Senate, 20 years, 18 days, Mr. President. The bill passed, and yes, Bracey's amendment was included. But the record shows he voted no on the measure that became law. For Bracey to claim that he crafted the Parkland bill, one he ultimately voted against, might lead voters to believe he was for it. If they didn't, get the facts. Greg Fox, West 2 News. And Senator Bracey addresses the Parkland claim in details in our exclusive West 2 News debate. You can watch it right now along with all of our Commitment 2022 coverage online at West.com. Just click on the politics section.